Hey everyone, welcome back to Take a Break with a Book. Today I'm going to be switching gears a little bit instead of reading the picture children's books that we have been reading the last few days. I am going to switch over to a um, young chapter book for all my lower L elementary students or kiddos that are following along. This story is called Mia Mayhem is a Superhero. It's written by Kara West and it's illustrated by Lisa Hernandez. What I'm going to do is I am going to post videos every day of me reading uh, about two chapters a day. So if you enjoy this, stick around and watch the following videos and you'll be able to have this entire story read to you, um, two chapters at a time. So let's get started. It says, Mia Mayhem is a superhero. Now there are some pictures throughout this chapter book. So if a page has a picture, I will show it. <clears throat> chapter one, the unexpected letter. Okay, I know this doesn't look good. It definitely seems like a tornado just blew through my house. I spilled a whole bag of flour, broke a window, ran through the screen door, was licked by a bunch of dogs, and even got my shoe stuck in a tree. But I have an excuse, really I do. It's been a super exciting day. Seriously, super, why? Well, hold on to your socks. Here's the deal, you ready? I, Mia McCroonery, am a superhero. For real, yours truly has superpowers. And believe it or not, I just found out myself. In fact, my life was completely ordinary until this afternoon. I had a normal, uneventful day at school, and my best friend Eddie and I walked home, just like every other day. Single day, just like every other single day ever. At my driveway, I checked the mailbox like I always did, except today. There was a tattered letter covered in stamps addressed to me. It said, Dear Miss M Mia McCroonery, congratulations. We're very pleased to inform you of your acceptance to the program for in training superhero, The Pits. I look forward to meeting you at your first superhero training session. Best wishes, Dr. Sue Perb, headmistress. Ugh, the program for in-training what? This couldn't be real. I wasn't super. How could I be? I don't have superpowers. I definitely know if I did, right? Plus, I have a bit of a reputation for causing chaos and mayhem wherever I go. I never mean to, but the truth is I'm a total disaster machine. Like one time I kicked a soccer ball that broke a steel goal post in half. Another time I flooded the hallways after using the water fountain. So you see what I mean? This couldn't be real. I flipped over the letter to see if it said gotcha on the back. Nope, nothing. So I ran inside and triple checked. You read that right. It's true, honey, my mom exclaimed when I showed her the letter. We've been waiting forever. We went to the, to the pits too. I looked up at her in total shock. This letter shall tra sure traveled a long way. We're thrilled for you, honey. You won't be too far behind, she said. Behind, I asked. Well, you see, most kids start their training in kindergarten, dad said. I grabbed the piece of paper and read it again. No way, my letter is three years late, I exclaimed. Don't worry, honey, you'll catch up as fast as lightning, my dad said with a wink. Just So just like that, I got the biggest, most unbelievable, best news ever. Can you believe it? All this time, I thought I was a super klutz, but turns out I'm just super. And I always have been. Chapter two, my super family. 
You might want to sit down for this, Mom said with a huge grin on her face. I nervously backed into a chair as my cat chaos jumped onto my lap. We're so happy we can finally tell you the macaroni super secret, Mom began slowly. We're a family of superheroes. My jaw dropped to the floor. No way. So you're not really a flight attendant? I asked. Of course I am, she said. But truth is, I can fly without a plane. Okay, hold on. Did you just hear that? This day has officially gone from really normal to really cool, super fast. Wait a minute. Then are you really a veterinarian? I asked my dad. Sure am. And I can talk to animals too, he said. Here, let me show you. My dad looked straight into Chaos's eyes and started meowing, just like her. Meow, me, meow. And believe it or not, my cat stood up and did a triple backflip onto the ground. At a girl, my dad said as the fist bump, they fist bumped each other. I sat back in shock, trying to take it all in. I couldn't believe it. I still had so many questions. But here's what I just learned. My cat is way smarter than I thought. My parents are real superheroes and so am I. This is awesome, I finally yelled out. Oh, Mia, we're thrilled for you, my mom exclaimed. We have to celebrate. I know we already made cookies, but this news calls for more dessert, my dad said. I nodded excitedly. My dad always had good ideas. Well, it was a good idea until I plopped the bag of flour down on the counter and poof. Flour got all over my face and even up my nose. Then Kaya started to run in circles, making the mess even bigger. I tried really hard to ignore the tickle in my nose, which turned out to be another not so good idea because I sneezed so loudly that the big kitchen window cracked. I swear I didn't mean to make things worse, but it was too late. The noise made chaos run off in an absolute frenzy. I quickly wiped my eyes and ran after her, but as I rounded the corner, I tripped and fell and my sneaky cat ran off with my shoe. So obviously I chased after her as fast as I could. The only problem is my top speed is a little too fast, even in crazy cat emergencies like these, because I tore through the screen door and now there's a giant hole in it as big as me. All right, and that's the end of chapter two. So I'm going to stop there. I'll see you tomorrow for chapters three and four. Bye.